In this video I'm going to show you how to save different Photoshop files. I have my piece of artwork which is in front of me here and I can click onto the file menu, go to the save as option and this window starts to appear. You can see that I've gone into one of the folders to be able to save my file. For best practice it's an idea to click on the drop down upside down triangle from here go to my documents by finding your name clicking onto it and then saving it into somewhere maybe a folder you've created or into my pictures for this purpose I've created a folder which is called Photoshop it does what it says on the tin and I'll click into there so there are different file formats which you can save your image one of which I've got here, it says Photoshop PSD. With Photoshop PSD, what that means is it retains the layers. If we look at the right hand side, we can see that the layers are still here and we've saved this as Egyptian head PSD. Now if I save the file as what we call a JPEG, this is the file format by clicking on this upside down triangle and finding JPEG. If you can't find JPEG you may have to click and drag onto this scroll bar which is just here on the right hand side. I'm going to click onto JPEG and once again I'll give my file a sensible name. So it says Egyptian head JPEG and I will click on save. This window refers to how much disk space the image may take. So the larger number, the higher quality the image, therefore it takes more disk space. If I slide that down, you can see that it goes towards a smaller file, therefore taking less disk space. I'm going to slide this all the way to the top, to number 12, to have the highest quality image. I then press OK, and my image should be saved. If I now refer back to my folder which contains the files that I have saved, I open up the Photoshop folder and you can see that there are two versions of the same file. The difference being that this one here on the left hand side is a JPEG and JPEGs can be put into an email, they can be uploaded onto the internet and this file here on the right hand side is an Adobe Photoshop image and this is the one that has retained the layers.